Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about my favorite topic, eyeshadow palettes. So I've had a lot of eyeshadow palettes enter my collection recently, both gifted, some also purchased myself, and I just wanted to create a video so that you can see all of the palettes that I'm slowly going to be working through these next few weeks. So if you want some eyeshadow palette talk, then just keep watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Nordstrom has definitely been on my bucket list of dream collaborations. Let me start off by saying I've been shopping at Nordstrom since I was a wee little girl. My mom is a Nordstrom shopper as well. You know, I have my own Nordstrom card. I used to have a phone case that literally said Nord girl. I used to shop at their BP section. So I'm a long time Nordstrom fan, but if you're a follower of my channel, you probably already know that because I'm able to utilize Nordstrom to help me get all of the newest makeup. They have the exact brands really that I cover on my channel. So if you watch my channel and you like the brands that I cover, a lot of these brands can be found at Nordstrom. And what I love is there's so many amazing Nordstrom exclusive beauty products and they also come out early. So a lot of times I'm able to utilize Nordstrom to get my reviews up for my channel. Not only do they have the best beauty brands, but buying online is super easy with free shipping and fast shipping at that. Nordstrom offers free returns, always super easy and smooth. And you can purchase your products online for in-store pickup as well, which is a game changer. Let me tell you, really fast and efficient. You can put your order online and then go to their pickup section and literally just get your stuff. It's really efficient. I want to live even closer to a Nordstrom so that I can utilize it more. But Nordstrom, let me tell ya, you'll pick the right girl to partner with because I I'm a Nordstrom stan. I'm really excited because I get to be a part of their newest campaign and feature some new eyeshadow palettes that I picked up from them. So I decided to pick up some palettes from NARS. I've been falling behind a little bit on the NARS releases and I wanted to pick up some palettes that I had in mind that I've been wanting for a while. So we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. It's kind of a neutral, glittery, warm eye. And so I picked up up the eyeshadow quad in Taj Mahal. I really like the style of eyeshadow quads that they have here and this one is really cute because I feel like one side is a little bit more pinky though this is quite a warm shade and then you have the more orangey shades right here. The shadows in here aren't deeply pigmented. They are quite soft so just be aware of that but the star of the show here as you can probably see on my eyelids is going to be this glittery shade. Super reflective. It's not like chunky glitter by any means. It really is is fine glitter. I didn't even put glitter glue down. It was super easy to apply. So this one is really fun. I think it's a great palette for fall as well. So I recommend this one. I think it's really nice. I also like the orgasm quads in this version a lot as well. So I wanted to pick up kind of a different color story. I also picked up an eyeshadow duo and I have always loved their eyeshadow duos and I always wanted to grow my collection more. So I picked up Kuala Lumpur and just for comparison's sake, you can see it is smaller. And this is what this one looks like. It's quite a simple color story. So we have a kind of mauve plum shade right here. And then we have this shade is a gold with like a pink shift. It's very, very unique, really pretty. And these two are super perfect for like a quick eyeshadow look. Put this in the crease and this on the lid and you get a really pretty soft pinky mauve kind of look. I love the quality of their duos and I haven't gotten the duos yet with this packaging. I know they changed the packaging a while ago, but I was still purchasing <laughs> the older ones for some reason, even after this packaging came out. But you can actually pop these out and pop them right in like a palette or whatever. So these are the two new eyeshadow palettes that I picked up from NARS at Nordstrom and I mean I'm really liking them so far but I definitely want to continue playing with them. Let's keep it moving to Sigma. So this was sent to me in PR. Really excited. I was going to purchase this myself with my own money because Karen Harris created the most beautiful look with this palette in her original review and I had to have it and luckily it showed up at my door two days beforehand but this is the Cinderella collaboration with Sigma Beauty and I didn't even really notice this by initially looking at the palette but there's a lot of really great color stories within this one palette. You have more plum tones, more blue tones, some green tones in here, some warm neutral tones, a plethora of different color stories that they managed to fit 
in this eyeshadow palette and I'm really impressed. For me, Sigma Formula, a little hit and miss. It used to be all miss for me, but recently the shadows that I've tried have been quite good. So I'm interested to see if I like this formula. I'm not too sure based on swatching. I haven't put this on my eyes yet, so I definitely want to do that. But I can tell you the color story is the best and Sigma really does create some of the best color stories within their palettes. They always catch my eye. And this one is probably the prettiest palette that I've seen Sigma come out with so far. So I definitely needed to have this and I can't wait to play with this one. Okay, I finally, finally have this palette. I feel like it was a long, long journey. But a few weeks ago, the Lethal Cosmetics Lethal is Dead palette finally joins my collection. If you don't know, this is a collaboration with Teresa is Dead and I love this color story. It is so fun. So originally when this launched, I believe I was working a wedding so I couldn't order it. It had sold out. So I pre-ordered it and it came to my house weeks later and it is just the most beautiful soft little nine pan palette. I love that you have greens and blues and purples and some rosy shades. Really just a great combination of the kind of colors that I like to play with. I've never tried Lethal Cosmetics before, but man, Teresa definitely sold them to me. So if I like this formula, I definitely plan on purchasing more from Lethal because the palettes that they curate look really gorgeous. So I'm super excited about this. The swatches seemed pretty nice on this, so I'm excited to get this on my eyes. I feel like I could do a lot of fun looks with this one, so keep an eye out. I definitely want to post a look or two on Instagram with this because I am feeling inspired. Congratulations and great job, Teresa. I know it's a bit delayed, but I'm really excited for this. Next up, I have a palette from ColourPop. This is actually a palette that I believe is a Ulta exclusive. So this is the Sonic Bloom palette and First of all, I'm really hot. I don't know why. I have so much lights on me right now. It takes a lot from a ColourPop palette to excite me nowadays because ah, too much. I am overwhelmed. I've gotten to the point where I'm like, can y'all just slow down? But this one is really, really pretty. This is the first palette that I looked at in a while and I was like, hmm. I think I'll keep this one. Here is the color story. It kind of reminds me more of a springtime color story. It's almost like a grungy spring color story. But you know, we have the pink pops here. There's an interesting duo chrome shade, some warm tones. So I'm interested to see what I can come up with when it comes to this palette. But I feel like you can get some really pretty wearable looks. You can also add some fun pops with some of the colors that are in here. And all things considered, I I really do like ColourPop's formula for the most part. I think they're really great for the price and I do think that this is a pretty color story. How they probably come out with these colors before, I, I wouldn't doubt it, but this is one that excited me. So I have a new indie brand to try out. It's always exciting to me because indie brands, they bring it, you guys. They bring color stories that consumers ask for. Maybe not all consumers, but at least the makeup community that I'm in. The indie brands really do seem to bring it. So I have this palette from Geology Cosmetics. It's, oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to mispronounce this. It's the Pilbara? Well anyways, it's a very interesting shape. The packaging was really, really cute that it came in. And tell me that this is not the most perfect fall palette ever. And I haven't put this on my eyes yet, but the swatches, oof. They were so good. The shimmers in here look really pretty. The only one that didn't swatch that great was this shade right here. So I'm gonna need to play with this some more, but some of the shimmers here look so pretty. I mean, if you like the green tones, you have this perfect for fall, a little bit more mustard based right here. You have nice orange warm tones. Anyways, I just think that this is a great fall palette. I'm excited to see the quality of this because I always love supporting indie brands and hopefully this one is good. So. For the most part, the swatches were quite promising. I don't know how this happened, but I have acquired quite a large Bare Minerals eyeshadow palette collection, and these are definitely palettes that not a single soul of you asked me about, but now that they are in my possession, I want to do some investigations. I was lucky enough to attend an online seminar with Bare Minerals and Haley Baldwin. Like, I felt 
up close and personal with ba Haley Baldwin or Bieber. Sorry, Haley Bieber. She's so pretty. She seems so nice. Anyways, yeah, so I guess they got my name and now they're sending me these palettes. I don't know about these, you guys. I'm gonna have to put them on my eyelids, but it seems that there might be some inconsistencies, but I've only swatched them. Take that with a grain of salt. So let me show you these really quickly though, because they're really cute. They have truly recyclable packaging because let me show you when you're done with the palette you can actually pull this out and then the component itself is recyclable which is really neat so this one is the ultra natural palette and it looks ultra natural and I feel like a lot of you might actually really like this color story I think about the makeup that my brides typically wear or that they tell me that they like and I feel like if my kit wasn't already stacked these have some really nice light bridal tones for the bride who just really wants to keep it natural so I hope the quality on this is good because I might pop some of these shades into a Z palette or something but it looks really pretty now swatching them some of the shadows not just in this palette in particular like almost all of them seemed kind of dry and lacked pigmentation. Sometimes that can translate well onto the eyelid because it's more blendable that way because it doesn't necessarily stick to the eyelid and it might give a more soft appearance on the eye, which is not a bad thing to be honest, but it could also go south if they swatch like that. So we'll see, I will have to keep you guys updated. The other one, well, I have a few. So this is Sunlit. I don't know, did I like this color story when I swatched it? I swatched these a few hours ago. I don't think I was that impressed by this one. This color story is, I don't want to say random, but it's not my favorite color story, but I like that it's pink. And these are like a little book, so they don't have any magnets in them because you can't recycle magnets, so that's why they have these strings to keep it all together. Oh, this one I think was my favorite one that I swatched. The shadows in this particular one seemed more creamy, and I loved the color story because, you know, I tell you guys I like cool tones, and I come up always wearing warm tones, but this is stoned washed and this one looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and there was something about the formulation in this one that just felt a little bit creamier which is interesting because these shades can be harder to formulate so we'll see but I I'm excited for this one this one is a fun color story it's this cool blue color story but it still is really really wearable so if the quality of these translates onto the eyelids really well and I hope that they do I think these are great everyday wearable eyeshadow palettes and they also offer a few fun pops while still offering that natural bare kind of look. Let's see this one is a little bit more pinky this one is rosewood for those of you who like more rosy tones kind of bleh to me but I, I mean I don't think they're trying to stand out really with this color story so we'll see. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about these yet. I was watching Emily Noel the other day and she wasn't too moved by these. So I, I don't wanna say I always agree with Emily Noel, but I definitely trust her reviews. Okay, and here's the last one. This is Burnished. Ooh, this one is neat. It's a little bit more warm, but you also have some rosy pops. Again, I mean, not too much to say other than they're good everyday colors. I think whoever put these colors together did a very nice job of staying true to the initiative and integrity of the brand, not going too crazy with the color stories, really compiling colors that just make sense to create a cohesive everyday look for the everyday woman that's really thoughtless. So where the tea is gonna lie is within the formula and application. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on, th on that. I do have plans of eventually doing a full face or best and worst of Bare Minerals, something of that nature because I have quite a lot of products from Bare Minerals that I'm working through. So stay tuned subscribe okay the next palettes another collective brand haul if you really follow my palette videos I've mentioned the Ace Beauty palettes a lot in that I really wanted to get rid of them but I couldn't because they were so pretty but I wanted to get rid of them because I I free I really hated the formula if I'm being honest but let me show you to me this is the gold standard of what a purple palette should be. I just feel like these played with tones that a lot of brands were too afraid to touch. The complementary tones to the purples were really done so well. So even though I don't like the formula of this, oh, and this just fell out. 
I always felt like I needed to keep this palette as a blueprint for what I would want a purple palette to look like. I also had Classical Paradise, which again, this is a gorgeous fall palette. Something about the color curations in here always kept me holding on to these palettes, but I hated the formula. Guess what? Ace Beauty has reformulated and they send me the palettes that I had and then some and I'm really, really excited because I still stand by the fact that Ace Beauty does some of the best color curation, some of the most inspiring, cohesive palettes that just make sense. So the packaging now is a bit, it's a bit thicker. And guys, look at this. Hold up, hold up. I do kind of like how the old packaging was a little bit smaller, but you see they have the same palettes, but in a new formulation. So I have not yet put these on my eyes. I want to do a video on these, but so far with the swatches, so good. So again, the Paradise Fallen is going to be the purple base palette, one of my all time favorite purple color curations. I'm holding my fingers so tight together in hopes that the quality on these are improved. And then here's the other one that I had, the Classical Paradise. Again, it literally just looks the exact same, just a little bit fatter in the component. Look at the other color stories in this brand. So the next one is Slice of Paradise and even the outer packaging stunning and this one if you like color you got all colors of the rainbow in this one so this one's really fun this one is definitely going to put me out of my comfort zone I will tell you that and then this next one is blossom passion this is the only color story that they send me that I'm not too sure about just because it's so much pink I don't know I just feel uncomfortable with this color story this one doesn't speak to me as much as the other ones but you know never know I might have a lot of fun with this so those are the kind of the longer style palettes that they had they also sent me two larger palettes so this one is the flare palette let me see which one is this one? Oh, this is another beautiful fall palette you guys all of these kind of had that mustardy undertone to them if the quality is good I might recommend this one for fall for you if you want to play around with different fall looks that are kind of more fun I'm so happy so far that these have swatched so beautifully because do you see me here getting excited about these I am so pumped to play with these and then here's the last one that they sent me this is the oceanic palette uh this one <laughs> Oh, this one is um, gonna get me out of my comfort zone, I'll say that. But I know for so many of you guys who are bold with makeup, this is the color story that you've been asking for. Boom, look at this, true blues and true greens. This is a fun palette, a little too fun for me. I mean, look at the makeup that I'm wearing. I don't know about this one, but I'm really, really excited. But I just feel like Ace Beauty goes there with their color stories. So I'm hoping that their reformulation will be as good as the color stories. Okay, final palettes. We are getting towards the end. This one is from Revlon, <laughs> but Revlon had a collaboration with Meg Thee Stallion, and this is the Big Bad palette. I don't know, it's been a while since I've tried Revlon eyeshadows, so I thought I'd give this one a try at some point. I thought this one has some fun colors here and an interesting layout. I feel like these two bare shades can work as highlights maybe, but you have a really fun cool toned quad in one corner and then a warm toned quad in the bottom corner over there. Um, I don't know, you know, I do call myself a product knowledge enthusiast and this is something that for my own knowledge, I, I just wanted to test. And I can also see myself creating a reel using the collection, playing a Meg song. It's what I envision. Okay, I did swatch these. I'm on the fence. Swatch a little cheap, a little crumbly. So my hopes are no longer very high for this, but we will see. I mean, I am a snob about eyeshadow palettes, you guys. I am. Yeah, I like my high quality, luxury, high end palettes, hence why I shop at Nordstrom. I, I can't do it with the drugstore palettes, but we'll see. The last palette, it's not really a palette, but I just want to show you, give you a little teaser as to what's to come. Terra Moons Cosmetics, if you follow me, you know that they are 
probably my favorite indie brand for single shadows. I've done a lot of swatch and sips featuring their products and I'm gonna have one on this too. So now Laura did send these to me over at Terra Moons and when she DM'd me, I was ecstatic because if you watch my channel, you know how much I love Terra Moons. And this is the Fall Equinox collection. So this went on pre-order already. I'm not sure if it's still in pre-order, but I'm doing a swatch and sip on this regardless for when it comes back in stock. This is all you're gonna get. This is all I'm gonna show you. You're gonna have to subscribe to my channel for my swatch and sip where I will swatch these beautiful duo chromatic shades all over my body. Alrighty, you guys. That's all I have for today's video. <laughs> Again, a huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Truly a dream come true. I will have everything linked that I mentioned in today's video to shop as well as what is on my face down there in the description box. Utilize it. I spent a lot of time making it perfect for you guys. And I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.